and hello welcome to this video of uh, Manjaro tricks and today I want to talk about how to uh, get MariaDB installed and working because this is a very useful uh, database server okay very useful database server that uh, it's a free and open source alternative to Microsoft SQL or even my SQL my SQL or my SQL is a uh, supposed to be open source however um, it still uh, includes some uh, proprietary um, code in its uh, some of its uh, versions so in terms of uh, who holds to the more uh, open source philosophy it is a uh, MariaDB it is a fork of my SQL and my SQL was supposed to be open source version of SQL okay so uh, and MariaDB is yeah, it's just a commercially community developed, commercially supported fork of MySQL, relational database management system, supposed to be free and open source, and it runs under the GNU uh, general public license. Meaning to say, I believe if I'm not wrong, you should be able to monetize things that are, uh, if you wanted, based on MariaDB. Okay, so. Uh, yeah, MariaDB is the default uh, implementation of my SQL in Arch Linux and of course Arch Linux based installations like Manjaro. Unfortunately, it's not so straightforward to start running. So there are a few, there are a few things that you actually need to do to get MariaDB working. Okay, um, so here we go. Okay, so let's start by installing MariaDB first. I'm going to go use the Parmac. Uh, which is this software manager I'm going to type in MariaDB okay so what I want you to install here is just MariaDB here okay uh, for some reason I already have MariaDB libraries installed I don't know why I have this oh it's a dependency for some other package but yeah what you should install is MariaDB Okay, just MariaDB and look for all the ones in the official repositories and then you just install <clears throat> there are those that come from the arch user repositories but uh, I'm not going to use those I'm just going to use the Manjaro repositories okay I'm not going to install any of these dep uh, optional dependencies as well uh, they are just there for extra functionality but I'm not going to use it Okay, it allows it to connect to Python and everything else. So you're only going to install, for my case, MariaDB and MariaDB clients. Okay, the MariaDB libraries uh, is also supposed to be installed, but since I have it already, I will just, uh, yeah, I don't need to re-download it again. Okay, so my, uh, installing MariaDB from the App Store is rather straightforward. Okay, however, when you close and you try to start up MariaDB, okay, it was complained like I can't connect to local server. So what you're supposed to do is suppose you're supposed to start a MariaDB service, sudo system ctl start MariaDB, and then I'm supposed to type in my password, of course, and then it will fail because it's a it's a, a it's a process exited by the uh, error code so actually before you start the MariaDB service which is which is what we just tried to do sudo system ctl sudo system control start MariaDB what you're supposed to do is sudo and uh, do all of these things what this does is actually well it does a few things you can see this thing over here it creates a new user called MySQL it shows you a base directory and it also provides a default directory to store all your data so all of this must be in place before you start uh, installing your MariaDB. And of course, uh, if you have tried installing MariaDB or some other database or MySQL before or MySQL before, it is a good idea to just clean up this folder first. Okay, I saw this on some forums online. It's a very good idea to clean up this folder first before you start uh, um, doing MariaDB. So remove everything here yeah remove everything here and then what you're supposed to do is uh, uh, install MariaDB from uh, from scratch so install it fresh so 
sudo maria db dot dash install dash db okay then you put the user here equals to my sql or my sql base directory equals to forward slash user of course i can just copy and paste but i'm just going through it slowly for no particular reason but okay yes doing it slowly actually walks you through some of the steps okay so you're making a new user you're giving it giving it a base directory and a directory which with which to dump all the data so you're supposed to do this and what will it do it says two of all privileged accounts were created one is called root at localhost it has no password but you need to be in a system root user to connect so what what is this talking about it means that when you start this uh, root account you're supposed uh, you're supposed to um, <coughs> you're supposed to uh, so-called connect using the super user or root or use sudo whenever you start the MariaDB okay so for example sudo mysql okay sudo mysql so using my sql will start start it up second is my sql localhost uh, but you need to be the system my sql user to connect okay usually for simplicity sake we will use this but this is a less secure version but if you're just starting and you're like in a you're just learning mariadb and don't really care about security just do it first okay what does it say here after connecting you can set the password uh, if you would need to be able to connect as any of these users with a password and without sudo okay so um so that's what you're supposed to do. What, what is this sentence saying? It's saying that uh, if you don't want to use the sudo command to start MariaDB, then you will need to uh, set some of these passwords as well. Okay, so actually what happens now, uh, <coughs> what happens now is, well, there are two ways to start. Uh, you need to start the MariaDB service first, as we did just now, sudo systemctl start MariaDB, and look, now it is okay. And next thing you can do is sudo my mysql and yeah we are here okay the other the other way is to just type mariadb sudo mariadb okay both of both of these things actually so called uh do pretty much the same thing except over here you see like the the uh the connection id is three here the connection id is four here okay so you'll be brought to this mariadb interface okay and what what is nice well they can uh they tell you you can type help semicolon for mariadb help and then it will display a lot of these commands all right so anything else uh you can go to the mariadb help site and you know start okay but yeah maria to start the mariadb server or my sql server you should be uh, executing these few steps so uh, first we need to clean up this var library my sql directory remove everything so that you can get a fresh start install this mariadb and then you start the mariadb service okay of course you can type ctrl c to exit okay and what you can do is uh, of course sudo systemctl enable mariadb Okay, so this will start MariaDB when you start uh, your uh, when you start the computer. Okay, so this is all you need to do, pretty much to get a very basic set of MariaDB working. I mean, most of the instructions are here through the Arch Linux uh, Wikipedia, uh, but yeah, I'm just doing it here uh, in case uh, anyone wants to see, you know, a proper a proper what do you call that a video showing you how things are done. Okay, thanks for watching.